All right, guys, good morning. Today is an awesome, awesome day. We have some really good workers over here today. We're getting the electrical completely rewired. Um, all new electrical and new outlets in each room. So we will have more than one outlet in each room and no more worries about the electrical. Yay! I figured I would come up to the workshop and try to finish up this countertop, pop that last leg on there. It's absolutely gorgeous out here today. I think I'm also gonna make a little trip down to the pond in a little bit later, maybe do a little bass fishing. At the very least, I'm going to clear out um, some stuff down around the pond since it's still winter and it's the perfect time to do it. If I wait much longer, the snakes are gonna be coming out and um, the vines and all of the brush and stuff is gonna be getting a lot harder to deal with. It is a great day. It is a great day. So, let's get started. got my last cedar post here and one of these double-ended screws and I've already drilled my hole on the top of there so this is gonna be the third and last leg on this countertop piece over there so the easiest way I've found to do it is to just go ahead of course I have lost my gloves so that's great. You just really start twisting this guy straight in there. And because my countertops are about a half an inch thick, I'm gonna leave maybe about a fourth of an inch sticking up to go into the countertop. Well, these floors are durable. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time with my dad and um, haven't been at the farm every single day and night. So this feels good to be back over here, but I'm try I feel like I have two left hands right now. Trying to get back in the swing of things, but that looks about good. So I'm gonna flip this table back down and screw this little baby into it. And then it'll pretty much be done. I just need to get some um, out on the back piece, the board that I screwed up first to hold the back side up since the legs are only on the front. Um, I'm going to put like a, it's not like a hinge, but whatever you call that thing, like a 90 degree angle and put screws and screws so that it holds in place on the back. So let's go ahead and flip this table <laughs> and uh, get this last screw, I mean leg on there. Whoa. This bad boy. It's so messy in here. Like, there's just sawdust and dirt and. 
There's crap everywhere. There is crap all over the floor. Now, the only thing I didn't do was drill a hole where this one's supposed to go. distance between those two. started there. I'm gonna turn this baby upside down. I might need to screw it just a little bit more. Oh, she's heavy. Oh, she's heavy. All right, baby. Okay. All right, that was pretty easy. Now, uh, see this. This leg has a bunch of these like little twigs and stuff left on it, so I'm gonna clean that up a bit, but I just love the bark and I just love it. I mean, it matches with the kind of live edge here and I just think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Ah! I love it. And then this is what I was talking about up underneath here, I'm gonna do like a 90 degree hinge and screw it into there and up under here so that it's it won't move. I'm also going to build some like um, shelves up under here so that it'll be even more sturdy and kind of have some more support 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 under there. But I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think I'm gonna run down and get my sink countertop and go ahead and install that too. Let's just get it done. I was old, I was young, I was sitting in the sun, I was tired of the run, I was done. Life was great, life was hard In a way, an awful card You can't win the losing hand But the rain stopped falling And the line on the floor was crawled And the pain I'd been feeling washed away I was cold, I was bold, 
I had fragmented my soul into pieces contradicting themselves. Perhaps it is as it is how the world is the mess means that every heart and soul needs to be whole. And the road signs keep changing as the road stretches out ahead. And the mood keeps on changing. All I wanna do is lie down in bed. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. Something really, really bad just happened. As you guys know, there are no steps there. And there's this big rock that I put there, so I slipped. And my ankle landed on the rock sideways, and I heard a huge crack pop. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, but I don't know if my ankle's broken or not. It's really, really hurting, and I'm really afraid to look. So I called my mom. And I told her to come up here. I really hope it's not broken. I've never broken a bone in my life. And it's like, when is this drama gonna end? <laughs> it popped, like, I don't, I'm afraid to look at it, but I wonder if my bone is like sticking out of my skin right now. I don't know, I'm freaking out. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Thank God my mom was here, seriously. Thank you. You're it's just always something. She just helped me get into the Jeep. And I guess we have to leave the farm. It's such a pretty day. We're finally getting ready to start working again. And now this happened. So I guess I have to go to the doctor and at least get an x-ray. I mean, I cannot even walk on this thing. Oh Lord, I hope it's not broken. Three-digit security code. Mm. All right, guys. Oh, I am back here at my parents' house. I went to the urgent care and thank the Lord Jesus. It's only sprained. They did an x-ray. A couple different x-rays and they said it's not broken still never broken a bone knock on wood so oh my gosh that was so like really i just feel like i can't catch a break but i mean i felt like i had two left hands today because it's just been such a long time since i've been over at the farm and i've been staying here at my parents house trying to help my dad and um you know winter's slipping away I just felt like I had so much stuff to do today and I was really excited to get back in the swing of things over at the farm and then this happens. What is life trying to tell me right now? I don't know. Maybe it's just slow down, enjoy time with your family and um, if you don't check every single thing off of your list to do over at the farm before spring and summer comes, then it's okay and I need to try to accept that. Thank goodness I did not break my ankle. Can y'all imagine me the beach this summer or the boat with a cast on my foot? <laughs> I'll show you guys my ankle but they wrapped it up a little bit and said that um I'm just gonna have to take it easy for about seven days and hope that it starts getting better and wear this like wrap thing on it. So there is my beautiful swollen ankle. It looks so swollen and crazy right now. It really, really hurts. It really hurts right there. Dirt all over my hands and sap and stuff. But it really hurts right there. And the pop, you guys, the pop was unbelievable, wasn't it, Elo? It was. And he was there. Elo was there and he helped me. He helped me after I fell. <laughs> he stayed with me the whole time. You're such a good boy. Thank you, buddy. This is hilarious. Hold on, my mom. I have to like wobble everywhere. Um, my mom gave me this cane. 
So, um, at least I have a cane. I don't know if I'm going to be able to like wobble over there to the farm or what. I feel like I put, I put a lot of pressure on myself, not really, um, for the videos so much for you guys, but just for myself, just like I, I have goals that I've written down, like a list of stuff that I want to get done before I head to the beach. And I just feel like there's not enough time. And, uh, I don't know, but I'm going to try to take it easy, try to chill, enjoy life, spend some time with my family and just go with the flow, you know? Me and my cane, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.